Jackson was rushed to the hospital last night after a bizarre accident set his hair on fire while he was filming a television commercial. Jackson, one of the world's most successful recording stars, was rushed to hospital after his hair caught fire. Il descendait l'escalier entre deux fumigènes lorsque tout d'un coup il y en a un qui a explosé. On aurait dit qu'il avait des étincelles dans les cheveux, il remuait la tête pour essayer d'éteindre les flammes. Aussitôt les techniciens se sont précipités pour l'aider et puis ils l'ont emmené. Yeah, I was backstage and, and I didn't know what the situation was at the time, but uh, the director gave me some instructions and, and I overheard this. Uh, to stand there longer, you'll look more majestic. He said, I want you to stand there longer, it'll look more majestic. Now, I didn't know what that meant at the time. Uh, also, I found out from Inspector Thomas that the uh, prior technicians were told that Jackson's going to stay, he's going to be under the spark, and he's going to look so he's to look like he's appearing out of the smoke. And that was totally against what uh, the instructions from. Uh, <laughs> Michael Jackson was injured this evening at the Shrine Auditorium while uh, filming a commercial. He was uh, uh, working with some explosive devices and also smoke, and a mishap occurred. He sustained a burn, which is about the size of your palm, to the back of his head. He was initially transferred to Cedar sinai Medical Center, uh, where he was examined, and we transferred him to Brotman Medical Center burn unit. He's in stable and good condition at this time. He is having some discomfort. Uh, he will be hospitalized for a period of approximately 24 to 48 hours for observation. Uh, the burn is second and a small area of third degree, and he will be receiving uh, care and treatment here. Michael had second and third degree burns on his scalp. Marlon Brando's son, Miko, was working security for Michael and was there when it happened. Michael also told me that he didn't have any oil or hairspray on his hair. His hair was sprayed with water, which probably kept the fire from spreading to causing even more injury. Michael had to have reconstructive surgery to his scalp. We were able to reconstruct the area by using his own scalp. Uh, we did not have to use skin grafts nor hair transplants. MTV presents another exclusive world premiere. Commercial? Michael Jackson's Pepsi commercial for the first time anywhere in the world. You're about to see a rare event on MTV, the world premiere of a commercial. That's right, a commercial that became a news event. For the first time, one of the biggest videos of the year influenced the making of an advertising campaign. The words to Billie Jean were rewritten and the new version became a Pepsi commercial. Now, there's been a lot of talk about the commercial, the production, and the accident that happened during the film. And tonight, you'll see that commercial for the first time on television. Choices up to you, hey, you're the 
I I heard that you know today just on the news that Pepsi bought up all of the film and the rights and you know to keep it quiet. And I think that's probably the basic reason: money and, and liability. 